we have a unique position today, Jessica. We cannot make fun of Ferrari that much. We're going to make fun of them a little, like maybe maybe that much, as opposed to the, the usual like full dose of Ferrari ridicule that we usually apply to them. Is is this for pitting Charles Leclerc at the end of the race and putting soft tires on, and then him giving up a spot to Alonso, him getting a spot back from Alonso, and then him getting a five second mm-hmm. penalty for speeding in the pit lane and ending up in sixth anyways? All right, maybe we're going to make a little more than just a little fun of Ferrari today. Like maybe we're going to put like a good dose on them because that's pretty funny as well. But I was going to suggest this that mid race when Charles Leclerc openly started lobbying while driving at 170 and 180 miles an hour for better and different pit strategies. That, to me, is the story of Ferrari, that you have the driver openly trying to dictate better pit strategy and better tire strategy from the car while he's driving. That's astonishing. It's an improvement for them. Yeah, I guess that's the like the the thing I compared it to on uh, online was saying that this is like when a quarterback just says, "I'll call the plays myself." Just stop sending them in, right? Didn't, just stop. Didn't them. Kyler Murray do this in the preseason? <laughs> uh, Kyler Murray was forced to go the other way, right? They made him they made him call plays as offensive coordinator to show that it wasn't as easy. This is like when we decide to go. And it was gentle and it was subtle, which is a lot like when uh, LeBron just waves off the, 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 the coach, whoever the coach that he's hired is, right? It's whenever, you know, he starts to send in signals and he goes, nah, I got this. It's fine. You, you, can, you can sit down, Ty Lue, uh, Frank Vogel, whoever it is. Uh, I'll just go ahead and call the plays. That's what Charles Leclerc, we've been joking that he needs to do that for a while. And then he just started doing it mid-race. So next race, just call it. Don't even wait for them to do it. Just insist on it yourself. Because in case Leclerc hasn't had a rough enough year, he spent this race doing that and then suffering the minor but laughable debacle that he suffered on the final lap. Which, again, really didn't matter. But, like, it's just classic Ferrari that they get to the end of the race and they go, ah, they haven't done anything else embarrassing. And then they do that.